are here with Gypsy Fae Creations. Thanks for tuning in. I had so much fun doing that spring moon soap that I'm eager to try out this PVC mold in bed thing again. Um, see if I can get it to be as easy or easier than it was last time because I know I made a really big deal about lining the stupid thing and here I am being smart about it. So this is me lining it. This is the first step. I'm just taking some um, parchment paper, freezer paper, which either you have, putting it inside of my PVC pipe. This is a test cap and I've sat that inside of this I don't know, circle of um, parchment paper. So it's it's attached to that and then I'm just going to slide it in there, turn it around, and then you can always trim this up. So super easy and then I'm just going to stick it into that little adapter and that holds everything in. Look at that. So let me trim this up and then we'll get to the soap making part of it. But I wanted to show you guys how easy this has become for me now. You can do it too. <laughs> so if the thumbnail and video title didn't give this away already, I am doing another planet soap. I've done the moon, I've done space, and I thought I'd do something a little closer to home. And I'd try Earth. Now it's not gonna be like a per perfect representation of Earth, but it's gonna be pretty dang close. So I am going to give this a mix, all my oils and lye water solution. Hopefully I've measured out what I need to make two loaves of this. Um, again, still learning. I am still learning with this and I'm eventually going to perfect it because this is my thing. All right, let's give this a whirl. So light trace there. I want to keep this very fluid. The colors I'm working with. I've got some Klein Blue in here since like 71% of the Earth's surface is water. I'm going to do the majority of it in the blue. I've got some Enchanted Forest Mica from Soapbox Micas and then I'm going to put a little bit of um, Titanium Dioxide in for like the clouds. So let's split that up and it's going to hopefully look like something you'd see from space. So it's going to be also in a black background and yeah, really excited about this. I'm not putting any fragrance into this. I am just going to keep this unscented because the fragrance I'm putting in here, I have a feeling that it is a really strong fragrance and I feel like what I have is going to be enough in the space part around the the moon, the earth. So let me scrape this out and then I'm going to go ahead and give each one of these colors a mix. All right, those look good. So I'm going to go ahead and scrape down the sides of these and make sure all of that mica is fully incorporated. And then I'm going to get my PVC pipes and we'll just start pouring in it and look for earth. <laughs> All right, so I'll just scrape these out and fill this the rest, way, rest of the way up, and then I'll do the same thing for the other PVC mold. Tis the next day, and here are the earthy embeds. Slid right out of those PVC pipes like a dream, just to give you a little sneak peek. That is earth right there. Do you see it? So now we're going to make some space. These are looking a little ashy, so I'm gonna give them a little spray with the rubbing alcohol. Might get a little slippery, but it'll be all right. It'll help things bind to it a little better. So starting with the oils, I am going to add my colorants to it now because nothing fancy here except some activated charcoal. Start with that and see how dark that gets. And then I've got some Black Onyx Enviro Glitter, just to add a little sparkle in the inside. We'll start with that. I'm going to give this a mix. Might add the activated charcoal to it if I need it to be a little darker. 
And then I've got these little soapy shreds here that are going to be the stars, and I usually put them in my space soaps as well. So why not put it in the earth soap? So the fragrance I am using is from Nature's Garden and Candles. It is called Watercress and Aloe. And I picked this one because I thought it sounded very earthy. And it is. It is very green and grassy and fresh. And it just reminds me of an earthy scent um, that could possibly be good for everyone. Um, so the notes that are in it... It says it's a unique blend beginning with subtle notes of lemon, rind, and fresh palm leaves, followed by fresh watercress and aloe notes and finishing with jasmine and eucalyptus. And I definitely get those green notes in there, like the eucalyptus and the watercress and the aloe. It's very green. All right, so then we're just going to mix that in there. Read lots of reviews about this. No vanillin. Um, no acceleration, no ricing. Some of the reviews did say that is a very, very potent and strong scent, which is why I'm not using as much as I usually would. And I'm only um, using about two ounces in this, and it's already very strong, which is hopefully a good thing that once it uh, cures, it will keep that scent and it'll stay nice and strong. I'm going to put in my little star shreds in here. I'm going to try and mix this up so that they are separated and not all clumped together. And then I'm going to get my molds over here and we'll just start pouring. And that is the easiest part of this whole soap, besides removing those embeds from the PVC. <laughs> I just get so excited about when they come out that easily. I should have filmed it, but I mean, I filmed it before. It slid right out. It was amazing. So in love with those embeds, in love with those PVC pipes, and I'm definitely gonna be using them very often. Lots of moons, maybe more planets. I can always do like Jupiter or Mars, or I don't know, I might even just go soaping the whole entire galaxy. All right, so I'm going to start pouring into my molds now. All right, I'm going to add in these earth embeds and as usual I'm going to try to add them gracefully and a little stealth to it because I really don't want them to sink to the bottom and I want to try and make sure they, they are straight in there. Not always easy because they're a little slippery. Okay, I like that. That looks good. So then the other part is to just add in the rest of my space black batter. Um, while I was waiting for that final layer to harden up, I did try not to put the bowl butt in your face. I did take um, a kitchen vibrator back to it because the stars were looking a little chunky and typically I would put them in in those long strips but I thought if I went back over them it would break them up a little and then they would look a little smaller and a little more realistic so I'm going to have fun here trying to get this batter in I'm gonna have to whack this down on the ground make sure everything is filled in and then I'm gonna bring you back for the icing And I gotta clean these things up. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna put my icing clouds on here with a large round tip. Just like that. I'm gonna fill this whole thing up. I've got some moons here and I've got some suns here and then there's the stars and there's the earth. And super excited about this soap. Um, if you are familiar with other space type soaps that I've made besides like Moon, I have done some galaxy soaps and I like to keep them in stock quite often. I'll go through um, all of my soap ends and roll them up or soap dough and roll those into planets and I change up the colors and the scents on that 
pretty much every month or every other month. And so when I had some leftover batter from making those earth embeds, I just threw it inside of a little square uh, soap mold, let it sit overnight, and then what I'll do is I'll cut that up into pieces and make more planets. So there's, those are going to look really cool in the Galaxy Soaps if you're lucky enough to get one of those bars. Um, probably won't be ready for a couple months or so because I'm not quite ready to make any more. There's two different kinds at the um, Etsy shop at the moment. So, but that'll be something to do in the future to be excited about. I get so excited over all of my soaps, honestly. Um, this one I think I'm a little more excited over even more so than my moon soaps because you guys know how much I love doing those. This one, I think I can change up those blues if I wanted in the, in the earth, or I can change up those greens. I can still change up the scent on this, so I definitely think I'm gonna keep this in rotation as well. And what else? Oh, if you guys speak any Spanish, you might know what my name means. It translates to earth. My mom's name is Tara which is Latin for Earth, and so she decided to put an I in there and make it Tierra. So another reason why this soap is really special to me is because, well, it's just what my name means. Also, with Earth Day coming up, I think this is appropriate for that holiday. And spring as well, you guys. If spring does not get here anytime soon, I might lose my sanity and go officially crazy. I need to get out of this house. It's so quiet in the house and I just, I could use some warm weather and some sh sunshine and just getting out of the house is probably gonna be in my best interest. But it's still so cold and I don't wanna leave the house or do anything outside or even drive anywhere. Like, not worth bundling up. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I had to put on a jacket. I seriously need to leave the house more. All right, let's put the embeds on here. Um, I'm questioning my ability to be an adult lately <laughs> because I get excited over the silliest things or maybe those are just adult things I don't know I watched a whole entire season of Umbrella Academy it's a Netflix show I pretty much binged watched that and that's finished um, not quite sure what I think about it. I, I kind of love it. I kind of hate it. I kept watching it because I was hoping in the end I would be satisfied and answers to my questions weren't there. So I guess I'm going to have to wait for season two to come out. Um, we got a new vacuum. Woo! That's so exciting. I know. But seriously, it was magical. It was a very magical moment because our old vacuum, it's been lying to us for years. <laughs> This thing, we want to vacuum the whole house with it. Like Brad loves vacuuming. We vacuum the steps and the furniture. It is the coolest vacuum we've ever owned. <laughs> because we have three cats and a dog, I mean, our rugs turned a whole new color. I'm just so thrilled with the fact that we have a new vacuum. <laughs> um, and antique furniture is another topic for the weekend. I have this chair and I want to sell it and I feel like it's worth money. It was a gift from his mom. It's very um, mid-century modern. I feel like it's vintage. I, I kind of have a feeling that it is. I just have had the hardest trouble finding out what kind of recliner or lounge chair this is. I finally figured it out. I mean, it's been months and months of me searching because I guess maybe that many of them weren't made. I don't know. Um, it's called a ply craft, ply craft, some kind of lounge chair. It's leather. It has like plywood. I don't even know how to describe it, but it's just giving me such a run for my money on keeping it up because it scratches up my walls and I just want my own little reading chair, something a little more comfortable and sorry Bradley, but <laughs> we're getting rid of this chair. But I did so much research on it. So now that I figured out what it is and that it could be worth up to a thousand dollars, now I have to find someone to buy it. But 
I was really excited and I felt accomplished in figuring out what kind of chair this was. So yay me. Like I said, I need to get out of the house. <laughs> this is what I'm doing with my life. All right, here is an up close look of this soap. And I'm going to have to get the other one iced up, but I love it. It's adorable. And I will bring you guys back tomorrow for the cut. All right, back to cut this because I have waited two whole days to cut this so that Bradley can see it. Uh. Do you remember what's in the soap? Yes, the earth. Bradley. Was I not supposed to give it away? I can show you the world. <laughs> <laughs> it looks great. Yay. Wow, it looks awesome. Yay. Isn't yes. it splendid? That is really cool. <laughs> Well done. Are you going to see the new Aladdin movie? Me? Yeah. Are we going to? Uh, I feel like I must. I don't think it's going to be the greatest thing in the world. Why would you say such a thing? <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> well, what do we think of the previous live action Disney? Um, I like Will Smith. Right. However, I don't... Do you like him when he's blue? <laughs> I mean, did we like Robin Williams when he was blue? It's a cartoon, <gasps> that's why. Brandon, you can't say that about Robin Williams. You don't like Robin Williams? No, I do like He's, Robin Williams. Okay. I think it's because, I think we liked the character because it was cartoon and now it's, they're trying to make it realistic yeah, I think and it looks kind of cheesy. It yeah. looks creepy because oh, looks creepy, he right? reminds me more of like a worm or a caterpillar, like he belongs inside of one of Tim Burton's like Alice in Wonderland films. It does kind of look like that, yeah. It, I don't get genie out of that. What is that? <laughs> well, what happened to the world? The moon's in the way of that the one. The moon's in the way of that one. <laughs> hmm. It's like a, a swirly effect going on. Mm -hmm. That is that one's when like a, a hurricane is happening, and you're looking. <laughs> okay, use your imagination here. <laughs> if you say so, I'm gonna cut the end off of this guy. I think. Oh, that didn't do anything. But hey, you get to see the stars. Don't those stars look good? They do look good, yeah. This time, I went back over them, and I, like, stick buttoned them a little bit to break them up. Because usually when I put them in there, they're, like, shreds. Mm -hmm. And now I think it looks more realistic, like there's a, a galaxy of stars That's in the there. best one I've seen. Isn't that Yeah, that's awesome. really good. Wow, that's okay. cool. I love it so much. <sighs> <laughs> So dang happy with it. Alright. Let's look at this one. Maybe it looks just as good. Let's turn it around. That looks great. Yeah. Just that one had a little funky like center. Just this one. I don't Yeah, I mean it's gonna happen sometimes. That's just the hurricane, that's all. <laughs> it's a big cloud covering a hurricane. You <laughs> that's are a really big cloud. <laughs> it's covering up like half the earth. That's the apocalypse. <laughs> Oh, very. Uh, it's like the black hole of Earth. <laughs> great, very mild thought this morning. I can see you have. Good morning. I haven't had my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna have so much fun cutting That's out that. That's a really good one too. too. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Leave me any questions or comments in the comment section down below. And until next time, I hope you guys have a very nice day. I'll smell you later. Yay. <laughs>